thank me later. Send a postcard later thanking me because I just put you on. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to. Say what's up to the camera. Uh, all right, love you. Love you. All right, y'all. So today, my friend, will you pull the back screen up? How do I do that? Just pull it? Yeah. I guess I need to teach you all that for show time. I just don't want to break it. Yeah, I don't want you to either. <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. As you can see, we are in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, pretty pretty solid intro. Pretty solid intro. I'm about to whip up some breakfast to just cut that bacon. Definitely not exactly in half. I'm not going to the gym today per se. I am going to do cardio. I haven't fully decided if I'm just going to do the cardio outside even though it's raining and cold. You know, I kind of like doing that to the mental every now and then. I like getting out there and, and just suffering a little bit. Uh, so, but we're not going to work out today. So today I just kind of figured I'd throw up an organic post chat with y'all a little bit while I make breakfast. I'm going to do a posing session for y'all and I will also show y'all the, the go-to creamy. The ingredients for the, the creamy that's going to change your fucking life. A full extra large creamy container. It's like 400 calories. I can't. I can't even. I mean, I might add a couple things when I'm done with prep, but overall, overall, I uh, I freaking love. I love it. And it, something, you know, when you've been eating super clean, your taste buds are going to be a little off. Things are going to taste a lot better than they typically would. So uh, maybe it doesn't taste as good as I think it does, but I'll tell you what. I think it tastes pretty damn good. Uh, we're starting off three pieces of bacon. I cut my bacon in half. I don't feel like, I don't wanna have to use two, two different pans for my bacon and my omelet, my egg white omelet. So I just cut the bacon in half. It's turkey bacon, I do three slices. I wish I would've saved the, I stripped off the packaging, but this is the best turkey bacon I've ever had. Um, so I do that and then I make the egg white omelet. It's kind of nice though, because the turkey bacon uh, flavors at the bottom of the pan translate to the egg white omelet. It's pretty nice, can't even lie. But uh, seven days out, boys, seven days out. And I feel like we're looking pretty lean. I feel like we're uh, actually one of the leanest we've been. Kind of, I don't know, it's like we're flat, but it, it's, uh, I don't know. I'm uh, feeling feeling pretty good overall. I can't even lie. Feeling pretty good. I feel like I keep repeating the same words over and over again. Yesterday, uh, we did chest and try. Chad said we we had a FaceTime this morning. He said he's going to send me the game plan for the week, and we'll get that going. So uh, he's going to kind of tell me how to train, what to train, and how many steps. He said we're gonna lower the stressors starting today. And he said, we'll start off small, you know, just lower the step count. I do bartend on the weekends and tomorrow's Sunday. So today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday. And then I don't have to work until the, the following Friday. So I'm gonna have a good bit of time off. It's gonna allow me to enjoy myself once I'm off prep, but it also is gonna allow me once I get past tomorrow to hyper focus that last five to six days of prep and just hyper focus on the show, relax my body. Something that's huge as you get closer to the show is you want your stress levels to be extremely low. So that is uh, why I took off that amount of time. As I told you, I haven't been doing any pressure washing jobs. To be completely honest, I'm thinking, and I haven't really told anybody this, y'all are kind of the first to know. I've talked to Emma about it. I, I kind of want to hang up the pressure washing. It is really good money and it's done me really well, but I really want to hyper focus on things that I want to do and some business ventures that we're working on. Y'all know I have a project that I haven't talked to anybody but really Skylar and Emma about that I'm working on. It's not going to drop for another three to six months, but I want to really focus on what I want to do and what makes me happy. And even though pressure washing is good money and I might do it as like still somebody that I know calls me, I think I'm going to hang it up after this year. I don't know that for a fact. Uh, it really just, you know, at the end of the day, bills got to be paid. 
but I, I'm in a good spot financially, not an amazing spot, but I'm in a spot where I could take some time off completely if I wanted to, but I'm still gonna have the bartending money coming in and I still make a little bit of social media money and hopefully that's just gonna keep growing. So um, it really just comes down to, do I wanna keep pursuing something that I don't wanna be doing in five years or do I wanna start focusing on what I'd like to be doing in five, 10, 15, 20 years and what makes me happy. You know, since I've stopped pressure washing as much, I, I enjoy my life substantially more. I, I, I genuinely do. And that doesn't mean I don't want to work. I've still been trying to work. Y'all know I've, this is day 51 that I'll uploaded a YouTube video every single day and working on other projects. As I've said, I really, the one big project, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, uh, I have had two cups of coffee on cup. Number three is about to start. I absolutely love coffee. I, I drink black coffee even when it's, um, even when I'm not on prep, I like black coffee. Now, if we're going to like Starbucks or something, which I'll do maybe once a month at that, I get a little fancy some, not fancy, but you know, I get some things added to it, a shaken almond milk espresso, something like that, and it's absolutely gas. Ooh, we recently, there's a, a coffee place that like roasts their beans in house and stuff. Uh, that's like a mile from us. We finally went there. It's veteran owned. It's like I want to support for sure. Gas, son. Absolutely fire. It's Alma coffee. I like dark roast. And on the bag, it tells you what day it was roasted. The day I bought it, that was the day that the beans were roasted. You know what I mean? That's that's what I'm talking about. I swear for like the first two days, even when you walk in the apartment, you could smell that bag of coffee. Like when you'd walk in the apartment, immediately you could smell it. Not when it was brewing. You could just smell it coming out the bag. Now that's that's the type of coffee I want. That's freshness. So me and Emma have talked about getting an espresso maker. An espresso, like, cause I, I genuinely love coffee and I love just drinking some black coffee. And it's good cause it's an appetite suppressant. It says it's zero calories. I imagine there's two to five calories uh, per cup of coffee. But feeling good at seven days out. Y'all support along the way. Definitely appreciate it. Posing is getting better. That's, that's honestly my biggest concern at this point is is my posing good enough? You know, me, Chad, and Lewis have all talked like I have the potential to do really well in this competition. And uh, I think the only regrets that I have is not focusing more on posing to start with. I guess I just didn't really realize how much went into it. And this is my first bodybuilding show at the end of the day. I'm, I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of how far we've come. We dropped 35 pounds during this process. So can't be mad at that. Can't be mad at that. 35 pounds. My body has changed. My body looks better than it ever has before. So you really cannot be mad at that. This is the best turkey bacon ever. One thing about turkey bacon, it just doesn't crisp up. It just does not crisp up at all. That's the only problem with it. So we're gonna finish this last two half slices. Again, three total slices of turkey bacon. Right now my diet is still at I know this is kind of a different video, but you know what? I want to keep it organic. I want to keep it raw, keep it real with y'all. Um, my diet is at, actually he eliminated olive oil. So I'm eating basically, we'll say 1700 calories because when you add in the tomato, the onion, and the only sauce that I'm using recently is rice wine vinegar, which says zero calories. I always assume five calories, even if it says zero. So, uh, we'll just say right around 1700 calories a day that consists of 300 grams of egg whites in the morning a little avocado which i don't have right now so i'm gonna have to eat avocado when i get to work tonight uh, 300 grams of egg whites three pieces of turkey bacon and half i can't remember it's like 50 grams of avocado um, 170 grams of chicken for the second meal 170 grams of chicken for the third meal for the fourth meal, it is eight ounces of 93.7 ground beef. And then for the last meal, I have my creamy, which I am gonna show y'all the ingredients for that.
So I'm gonna finish up cooking breakfast and um, I will see y'all when I get down, when I sit down to eat and then I'll show y'all the creamy and then we'll go over a posing session. How's it look? Let me know boys, let me know. I just wanna say, that was a 10 minute clip, I'm proud of myself. You know, even when I started posting back on YouTube, I would have not been able to do that. Kept a flow going, really didn't stutter that much, really didn't kind of like have any major pauses. I'm super proud of myself. I, I said I want to just be organic, I want to keep it real, and that's what we've done along this YouTube journey. So I'm super proud of that. I am genuinely proud of that. I know it's not the most entertaining videos, but my goal is to keep it raw, to keep it real, keep it genuine, show you all the true Jordan Kedora. So I'm very, very pleased with how far we've come and thank you all for the support along the way. I just wanted to throw that in there. I saw there was a 10 minute clip. I was like, that didn't even feel like 10 minutes. It's, God is good, you know what I mean? We working hard and it's paying off. I'm thankful. I just wanted to throw that in there. Adjust it a little bit. That's better. All right, so as you can see here, we got our three pieces of bacon, turkey bacon, cut in half, and uh, I've got coffee, and I've got branch chain amino acids, essential amino acids. I've not done the best about drinking water this morning. I don't feel like drinking water, so added some branch chain amino acids, essential amino acids. This also has a hydration formula in there, which is obviously good. Uh, this is Rise, this is a company I'm sponsored by. Y'all can use code TheFlex if you'd like to get you some of that pre-workout or protein. But breakfast is 300 grams of egg whites and then three pieces of turkey bacon, like I said, while I was cooking it. So no sauce. Typically I would add sriracha. Typically I would add cheese if I wasn't in prep, but this is just straight up raw dog in this food. One thing I like to do, I didn't show y'all and I forgot because I was filming. While the book, the bacon is cooking, crack a little fresh, fresh cracked pepper on that thing. I'm telling y'all, it adds tons of flavors. I saw some shit the other day where this lady, she had like a million followers and she was like the cooking so she knows what she's doing she would crack the pepper and it wasn't for bacon but she would crack the pepper in the pan let that heat up and that way it bring out more flavor of the pepper i'm gonna have to try that I, I forget i just saw it too so i haven't had a chance but mm, i'm gonna have to try that so i kind of like burning my eggs And one thing I like doing is uh, I'll, I'll mix. So you saw how I cut these. I'll do like a little strip like that. And I got to, so that's one, one reason I like cutting my bacon in half too. My favorite part of breakfast, you'll get some of the egg whites crisped up at the bottom of the pan. It's, it's like a chip, but you've got that turkey bacon flavor in there too. It's like a nice crunch. It's almost like, it's, I swear it's like a chip. There was a Shark Tank episode where they were, uh, one of the companies that was trying to sell to the sharks, they were doing egg white chips. And honestly, if I knew that, I would have been buying them back then. I don't know if you can buy those. I don't know if that actually ever worked out. I just know in the morning time, I like getting a little flakes. So, hey, we're gonna smash breakfast and then I'm gonna make that creamy and show y'all how we do the creamy. Would I like sriracha on here? Absolutely. Do I need it? Absolutely not. Seven days out, you can suffer. And I hope this kind of shows you a level that you could take it to. I wouldn't recommend taking it to this level unless you are prepping for a show. But like, if I can do this, you don't need to douse this in ketchup. 
get you a sugar-free ketchup. You know, if you're if you can eliminate 50 calories to 100 calories every single meal that you eat, and that is very easy to do. Olive oil, ketchup, things like that. It's the compound effect. The compound effect over a year you'll probably lose 20 to 50 pounds depending on the person. If you're eating four times a day and you can eliminate 100 calories a day, let's see what that is. Let's see what that is right here, boys. Let's see what that is. We'll just go with, we'll go with a 350 a day times 365. You know what? 350 a day times 350. You got, you got uh, 16 off days. No, six off days. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so that's 122,500 calories divided by, I would just say 3,600. That's 34 pounds. 34 pounds right there. And you know, again, what I like to do with my coaching clients, so I do online coaching, one thing I like to do is I like to find ways, can we somewhat keep the same lifestyle that you're living eliminate calories, get you to burn a few more calories without you barely even noticing. Because if you can, if you don't even notice it, you can stick with it. But if you're having to make all these drastic changes, which some people need to, but try to find things that you can just slightly alter, not have any inconvenience, not have anything that you're like, oh, I hate doing this. Right there, it's not that hard to eliminate 100 calories for like most meals. You know, most meals in today's diet, like for a guy that eats super, super clean, might be a little harder. But even just switching from a spray olive oil to a, a drizzle olive oil, right there, a couple hundred calories, easy. So it's not that hard, honestly. That was very off topic tangent. But I want y'all to know, this is an extreme level, but it's really not that hard to lose weight, especially if you're super overweight. It's really not that hard to lose weight. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of my breakfast. And yes, sometimes I eat with my hands too. I don't really care. Some of you may hate on it. I don't really care. Um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my breakfast. And then I'll film making that creamy. And I will show you all what the physique is looking like, boys. I think I was washed out this whole clip, but fuck it. And it's time to show y'all what this creamy is all about. Let me make sure y'all can actually see me. Flip this screen up. You know, the, the, there's two cameras I'm looking at. And uh, both of them have where the, the screen flips to the side. I like having it above it. That is one negative that has kind of been holding me back. But, um, you know, could be worse. Cause there's definitely bigger problems in the world. You know what? I don't know if I have a damn thing clean. He's clean. All right. Well, I gotta clean this real fast. But I don't even know if I'm gonna cut this part out. I think I'm just gonna post it. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, I use them every night, so it's not like it's been sitting forever. A little hot water will do. A little hot water will suffice. Judge me all you want. I don't really care. I don't really care, to be honest. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, as they say. This is the best scale. I try to buy like a little fancy one. A little digital one. Look where it's at. It's in the drawer, because it sucks. I think it was quadruple the price. So just tear that. Starting off 300 grams of yogurt. You know, I would have never in the pat, never off prep would I leave that much yogurt. I would just put it in the fucking thing. But on prep, you gotta be a little bit more precise. Probably will, uh, you know, I was thinking last night, am I gonna keep weighing, not all my meals, but majority of my meals when I'm off prep, I don't know. 
I think I need to for the rebound, but I'm, I'm like wondering how long will that last that I keep weighing things. Give that a little stir. So I don't really know if I'm gonna keep weighing. I think I will, but that's kind of where that ED comes into place. And I'm not talking about the downstairs as Greg Doucette says. Also, this yogurt, gas. 90 calories a serving, so I'm getting 180 calories worth of, or not even, because a serving's 170, I'm putting 300 grams, so I'm only doing, I'm doing a little under two servings, about 40 grams less than two servings. We'll allow 303, we'll allow 303. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Something about something about uh, if I'm going to keep weighing food or not. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I really am not sure. Key ingredient here. Key ingredient, cinnamon. A lot of it. Do not be shy. Do not be shy about that. Uh, a little bit more. Another key ingredient. There's a couple other flavors that I like, but the best flavor I have found is the Skippy Peanut Butter by Rise. Again, code the flex if you want to support, if not. For reference, I put three grams of cinnamon. I'm gonna do about three ounces. An ounce of liquid is about 26 grams. So I'm gonna do about three ounces of raw almond milk. I say raw. But basically I mean unsweetened, unflavored almond milk, and then one scoop of the Skippy peanut butter. The cinnamon and the Skippy peanut butter. Mm, that junk is so freaking good. So good. We're gonna do half a banana. I could probably weigh this, but I don't. You know, I, I kind of look at it even with prep, you know, five to 10 calories. Now you don't want to do that. You want to be cautious because you don't want to be like five to 10 calorie in your way through the day. But this is pretty consistent. This is going to be only five to 10 calorie difference on, on the size. Because I try to make sure I buy bananas that are all similar in size. So we do half a banana. Wow, that all that came out to exactly 500 grams. Like exactly the odds of that. Um, and then I'm just going to add some water, stir this thing up and put it in the, fr the freezer. Oh, there's one more ingredient. And so this is going to expand a little bit as it freezes. So I get, add some salt. That was the extra ingredient that I for forgot about to tell y'all. Uh, we'll stir this up put it in the freezer and I will use this one tonight. So I've, I've found it's a little bit beneficial to just do it the day of. Granted, you might not be able to do that all the time. I fortunately typically can, typically can. just get it in in the morning. If you get it in before one o'clock, I usually eat it around 10 or 11 at night, sometimes around 9.30, but it's pretty much frozen. There's the soft, the soft, the middle is soft. Um, speaking, Messing up my, my wording there. The middle is soft, but everything on the outside is frozen, so it still comes out to a nice ice cream-like texture. It's like, it genuinely is like ice cream. But this right here, like, I will keep eating this off of prep. 100%, this is roughly, so we'll go ahead and say, so we're gonna say 175 calories for the yogurt. Cause it's, and that's, that's high. Because remember, uh, it's really, it comes out to 180 for two servings. I'm using less than two servings, but we're just going to go high, 175 plus 150. The Skippy is 150, which is the, a higher end protein, to be honest, on the calorie side. You can get them for like 130. That's just my favorite flavor right now. So that's 325, half a banana plus, uh, we'll go 50. I think that's even a little high. I think a banana is about 80 to 90 calories. So that's 375 and then miscellaneous. You're not going to have calories in uh, your cinnamon. 
The a full serving eight ounces of the almond milk I get is 30 calories. I'm not even using half of that. So add another 10 right there. Yeah, fuego. We're under 400 calories for this because we only added salt, cinnamon, and water outside of those, those ingredients. We're under 400 calories. I genuinely fucking love this shit. I genuinely think this is the so good. Granted, you gotta have a creamy to make this, but you could do it in a blender. It's not gonna be as smooth like ice cream, but you can make this with a blender. Under 400 calories, this is gonna, when it's done and over with, by the time it freezes, it's up to here. And this is a big, big jar. And I get to have that for under 400 calories at the end of the night. I genuinely love it. That is huge. That's my, that's a game changer. You wanna find things you enjoy that are voluminous at low calories. This is very high in protein. Uh, it would come out if I was doing two servings of the yogurt, it'd come out to 20, we'll say 20 grams of protein in the yogurt. We've got 25 grams. Let me just double check, make sure it's not off. Yeah, 25 grams in the Skippy. That right there is almost 50 grams of protein. Bananas probably got one or two in there. Almost 50 grams of protein right here for your protein ice cream, and it genuinely tastes good. Under 400 calories. Thank me later. Send a postcard later thanking me because I just put you on. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to. But yeah, I'm going to put this in the freezer. I'm going to do some posing and then I'm going to clean up the apartment, get set up for a good night at work, and then the apartment will be clean tomorrow so I can just relax tomorrow. I got to send a proposal on Monday. Me and Emma's business got to send a proposal. It's a big one. So we'll be ready to do that tomorrow night and not have to worry about cleaning because usually we do a bunch of cleaning on Sunday, but we're not going to have to worry about that. We're not going to have to worry about that because I'm going to clean it before I go to work tonight. Then we're going to have a clean apartment, do the proposal, relax for the week, and fucking go dominate next Saturday, baby. All right, I need to find a lid. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the posing session. I'm actually very interested to see how today's video does because this has kind of been, you know, I, I keep my videos pretty organic as is, but this has been super organic and uh, kind of more personal. I don't know, it's like not the gym. Okay, so I was trying to adjust the tripod here. Actually, should I put on the trunks? I got some trunks, some posing trunks. Should I do that? I think I'm going to show you all that. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to do that. We'll show up right right. Yeah. We're not at the gym, so we got the trunks on us. Boom. All right. So we're going to go through the mandatories real quick. Uh, kind of actually turned into a longer video. Again, I'm actually super proud of myself for how far we've come on talking to the camera and just being natural with it and being organic. So that's cool. Oh, got to start bending the legs more. Kind of going through it quick, y'all. <sighs> Gotta learn how to pose this. Cheeks a little bit better on that one. Y'all kind of getting the full view today. <sighs> Easy work.
Favorite classic. Bada boom. Nice little posing sesh. Nice little posing sesh. I do feel a little awkward talking to y'all in my trunk, so I'm going to put my, my shorts back on. But yeah, one big thing I gotta work on, getting a little more mind muscle connection with the gluteus, gluteus maximus. A um, few things, that's a major one I gotta work on. And uh, yeah, just tighten things up over the next few days. Just seven days to do it, baby. Seven days to do it. I think our food's gonna increase a little bit. Can't wait for that. I'm also nervous about it, you know, it's like, you know, not that I don't think Chad knows what he's doing or anything, but it's just like, it's just nerve wracking. All of it's nerve wracking. A lot of time and effort has gone into this, so I just want it to be right. Um, Chad's put a lot of trust in me. I put a lot of trust in him. And, and by the way, Chad's not the only coach that would up my calories. That's just a common thing when you do peak week. I'm just saying it's just nerve wracking for me that all this time has gone into this a lot of sacrifices going on into this and I'm, I'm super thankful for the opportunity and uh, I just want to bring my, my best package for y'all for me for Emma my family uh, yeah just I want to bring the best package possible next Saturday so super grateful for y'all to be watching all the way through this video it means a ton today's a little bit different I actually kind of enjoyed filming today now, I definitely want to film more stuff like this once I'm off of prep and kind of show y'all day-to-day life and just who I am as a person outside of the gym. Gym is a, a massive portion of my life. Don't get me wrong, like a massive portion of my life. You know, I, I, uh, I realized probably about a year or two ago, I was like, you know, my, my ultimate goal is to be able to go to the gym at any time I want to and work out for as long as I want to. That's like the goal. You know, I used to think it was be super, super wealthy and I still have these aspirations to, to become a super successful businessman and that is like, you know, part of who I am. But a big key in that I realized a year or two ago was like a big reason why I wanna be super successful and financially free is that way I could go to the gym when I want and however long I want to. And if I want to go twice a day, I'll go twice a day. If I want to, you know, that that's why. So that was random. But all right, so this is going to wrap up the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. You're a true OG for watching all the way to the end. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Let me know what y'all think about today's video. Is this something y'all want to see more of, less of? And uh, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You're helping a young guy chase his dreams. You watched all the way to the end. Helps the algorithm a ton. If you'd like, throw a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I try not to uh, overdo it with asking y'all to do that. So it helps me a ton when you do those. So thank you very much. I love you guys. We are seven days out from our first ever bodybuilding show. And as always, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>